Just got the rifle set up on the tripod, very handy, down on the track here in front of us. There's about 10, maybe a dozen pigs scratching on a rock, rolling in a wallow. Let's go for a little bit of a stroll. Got three of them, but yeah, pretty fast work in that tight width of the track with the tussock running a bolt action. I'm out on this trip with my mate in the side-by-side -side buggy. We've got a heap of pigs to shoot. Let's see how we go. At the moment we're just cruising around in the buggy seeing what pigs we can find up in all this tussock grass, check a few traps, hopefully pick a couple of animals up while it's daylight. Once it gets dark we'll switch over to the thermal gear, we should start to see some better numbers then. I've got this little patch of prickly bush up in front of me, I can see two decent sized pigs, a couple of little ones, let's see what we can wrangle. one of those pigs, spotty fella, folded up under this bush, the other one's off to my left. We're just looking over all these green crops that we've got to shoot later this afternoon and tonight, and there's already a few fallow bucks out on there. It's the middle of the day, very interesting. Probably won't see it with this camera, but I've got three different groups of pigs on a dam. If I get my finger right, there's a tree there, there's some pigs under that, there's some just there, and there's another group just slipped across there, dam in the middle. So let's go for a walk. Crack this fella just above his right eye. A tidy little pig too. That worked out all right on that boar, but those other pigs ducked off down the gully and I just completely lost sight of them after this fella came into the dam. So unfortunately terrain does beat you sometimes. I've ended up with five pigs on that little walk-in, so not too bad, but very frustrating on this face just here. It slightly rolls away. I came over the top of it, and it was very difficult to see those small pigs in that tussock grass. So a little bit frustrating, but that's how it rolls. Excuse the pun. As usual, I'm shooting my 308 Winchester on the pig jobs. I'm running a glass scope this time. It's a Zero Tech Trace ADV. It's really nice, Japanese made, and I'm shooting Fiocchi 150 grain ammunition so they're a 150 grain Hornady SST projectile they work really well it's in line with my reloads I just don't have time to make as many bullets as I do need to fire at the moment We 
we've just come around the corner and bumped some pigs out of this heavy timber. It all happened pretty quick. Didn't really get time to hit record. I've smacked two, walked up in to have a look. Full respect to this little guy, loyal to the end. He stayed with his mum, poor little bugger. But end of the day, they are all pigs. That's actually worth touching on. I just said before that they are all pigs. Now people need to understand that I'm out here doing pest control. It's not specifically hunting, it's just animal reduction. So there's no discretion between large and small pigs. They are all pigs, the little ones get big. So we shoot every single one we get the opportunity to. Here's one for everyone to see. I get questioned a lot, shooting's not effective. You need to trap pigs and do all these other different methods. Well. We do trap the pigs, so we're just out setting a few today. What you guys see in the video is a much smaller proportion of what does go on in the bigger picture of feral pig control in Australia. My mates just dropped me off here. Plan at the moment, I'm going to walk down through this big gully. I've got about probably k and a half to go to get down to a dam where he can pick me up. Fingers crossed I find some pigs in this grass or down along the creek at the bottom. I wonder what happened to this guy. He's certainly not a terrible buck by a lot of standards. I'm just down in this really tight little gully and I've got a couple of pigs up above me having a bit of a scrap, I think. I'm not sure if there's a sow in season up there. Either way, they're about to cop it. That sorted a few of them out. It's certainly fast shooting in here though with a bolt action, but I'll take what I can get. As you can probably hear, this wind has really ripped up. Now there's a difference between a breeze and blowing its ass off. I don't know if you can tell, but it's starting to blow its ass off and it's not even dark. So we're certainly gonna have some um, unpleasant times tonight out in that cold, but that's just the way it is. We've had a great afternoon, got quite a few pigs. The sun's set now, it's definitely cooling off. We're gonna head back, get a feed, get the thermal gear on the rifles, head back out. I've done this pig a favor, I've capped him just behind the eye, but he's got a gammy leg. See his hock there? I can't actually bend it out. I thought it was a three-legged pig originally, but he just had a hell of a limp, so some sort of injury. His hock's all swollen up. The sun's down now. It's probably darker than what that video makes it look like. It's time to work. I've got a tiny slither of a moon out there. A couple of pigs in the paddock in front of us already. Let's get to it. For the first two pigs of the night, they are crackers. The one on the right, it's probably about 70 kilos. The one on the left, it'll probably go about 85 dressed. Probably doesn't look like it from this angle. But, if I put the old size 11 boot in for scale, you can see they're both pretty good pigs. It's always nice when you get new mail. My mate's just got this in from TSA. It's the new Hick Micro TQ50 version two. For those wondering, yes, it is a rifle scope, but he's just got it on a tripod standalone. He's just getting a little bit of footage.
We've got at least one pig about 400 metres up this paddock. They are a little bit vehicle shy here. So let's go for a wander. He hasn't got a bad set of hooks on him, this fella. They're certainly sharp. Give a dog a bit of a tune up. Not a bad sized pig and another one with a gammy leg. So he was hobbling along. I probably did him a favour. We've just spotted an animal in the thermal which we initially thought was a wallaby. On closer inspection with the O-light, because we couldn't quite tell what it is, green eyes. It's a big feral cat. Cop this, mate. I've got the ammo box in there for scale. There's the size 11 boot. That is one big feral moggy. He's another handy boar, this fella. Spotty one, scruffy, long coat of hair. A little bit too much internal pressure inside his cranium. I've just spotted eye shine about 25 metres in front of where I am at the moment. There's a low heat signature there with the thermal, but I can't tell what it is. Couple of little lip squeaks. It's a few cats. I still very much enjoy my shooting, even though I do it a lot now. 
sometimes I do get a little bit excited and this is one of those moments. Holy shit, I've shot three feral cats all in one spot. There was a fourth one there that got away, but I've smacked these killers with a subsonic round from about 20 metres. Spotted them with the red headlight as I'm walking in on some pigs. Just that little bit of eye shine about 20, 25 metres in front of me. Boom, first one was a headshot. I've smacked the other two in the shoulder. I am one very happy boy. I think I can nearly go to bed now. My mate's just called over the two-way and he spotted another four feral cats between me and him. So I've got to make the decision now. Do I continue down this paddock stalking these pigs or do I walk back up about 400 metres and shoot some more cats? That's a no-brainer. Let's go and shoot some more cats with subsonics. Hopefully the pigs stick around. Tonight's definitely a night that keeps on giving. I've just shot another three feral cats in the same paddock. I can't find one of them though, which is a little bit disappointing. There's a fair bit of sorghum stubble in here and plenty of spots for a small animal like this to fall down. It's very cold, it's very windy, and there are still pigs across the creek. So I won't muck around with these like I did the last ones. Let's keep going. I've just shot another cat, if you'd believe it. I'm about 300 metres down from those last ones that were jumping around near the tree. Wow, this night just keeps getting better. This paddock is giving and giving. Absolutely stoked to get these feral raiders out of the environment. Yes, I know, it upsets all the haters. I've shot someone's pet. No, it's not a pet. Do a little bit of research, have a Google, and look at the damage that these animals are capable of and can do in Australia. That's really good to see. I do like the genetic breeding that these pigs are up to. Another one with an aiming mark. Certainly makes my job a little bit simpler. My mate's driving down to pick me up. Certainly a successful operation in this paddock. And that last pig, well, it wins the award for the best commando role after impact. We've shot quite a few pigs just cruising around straight out of the side by side, but it is a challenge with all this long tussock grass. Definitely exceeded red mode in this instance. Let's just say there's lots of little bits of little pigs everywhere.
I've shot another black panther. That'll upset the haters. That's been a great shoot, and I'm pretty happy to get nine cats on the deck. Big thanks to my mate to having me up for giving him a hand on this job. If you did like the video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Ensure you subscribe to the channel with the bell icon on. I'd appreciate it if you'd like to have a look at my Patreon. I'll see everyone next time.